what's the secret to riding on wet, squishy, greasy clay? It's horrible stuff. Okay, starting this video in Ahura, and I'm going to head over to New Plymouth by some gravel roads. The only thing I know about this town is that building there it used to be a prison that closed a couple of decades ago because they couldn't actually get any staff to work here. Which must have been terribly frustrating for the prisoners, not having any service. Seems to be some sort of religious retreat of some kind now. But yes, one of these many small towns that uh, used to be a, a mining town and of course most of the mines closed down in the 70s and that meant the town basically died very little uh, to keep the town going now so it's all very very much closed but there must still be some people keeping things alive here there's houses and there's people around there's a school so it must all be sort of farming and support service type things anyway webbing it on let's go to New Plymouth hello sheep Oh, goody! Gravel Road. I did expect some gravel. And when I bumped into someone at Ahura, they said, oh yeah, that road, bit of a goat track. So, uh, Let's see how this goes. Eee, whoa. Okay, already on some slippery clay. Why do we have to have so much of that in New Zealand? Another sheep! Hello sheep! Clay again. This is certainly not a goat track at the moment, though. Okay, it's not the sort of road you want a camper van trying to pass a truck. That wouldn't work very well, but uh, it's a fairly standard country road. A lot of this wet clay type stuff. I think that's primarily because it's winter and the uh, sun hasn't dried off any of it. So it's still very wet and very uh, mobile under the tyres. Probably not too bad for people who have knobbly tyres, but mine are basically road tyres, so 
that's uh, not ideal for me, and certainly not ideal for my skill level. But that's why I do this, to increase my skill level. horrible stuff, Clay. A potter should really take some to the apprentice. You're fired! Yep. I apologise. Stay on the gravel bits rather than the clay. Back to some sealed road. Or if it's going to be sealed for the rest of the journey, or whether it's one of these things where there's just random bits of tarmac in the middle of a gravel road. It certainly wasn't as much gravel as I was thinking there was going to be, but it's still a fair amount. Remember when I first started on the bike, the gravel was one of the things I wanted to learn how to ride on and be able to go off adventuring anywhere in the world, not just places with highways. And uh, gravel still makes me really nervous, but I think I have improved. What's the secret to riding on wet, squishy, greasy clay? It's horrible stuff. Back 
to the sealed road. And back to the gravel road. Now that sort of thing wouldn't be very good for large vehicles going past. Well, out of all the places to meet a car coming the other way, that one was probably the best one. Ah, that was the road from Mount Damper. I might take that route home. Well, to get to the coast, I'm going to do it in a rather touristy way. Go and visit the Three Sisters. Well, it was the Three Sisters and Elephant Rock. It's now only Two Sisters and the Elephant's Trunk has fallen off. Actually, a long time ago, it used to be four sisters. So they're all dropping off. Again, this isn't the best sort of stuff to be clambering around wearing motorbike gear. Motorbike boots are rather slippery on uh, wet rocks and things. Nevertheless, it's all for a good cause. the tourist part finished so uh, now to head into New Plymouth quaint little tunnel
Well, hopefully not too far away because the uh, petrol light has come on. Ooh, this bike's a little bit louder than mine. Must be a grown-up bike. I phoned ahead and got an incredibly cheap room at this place. And the problem is, is there going to be anywhere to park? Taking a similar route back home again, so I'm going to try to go along the Mount Damper Road and maybe a bit of a meander and have a look at the uh, waterfalls there. See how that goes. The only thing is, yesterday the gravel road had some areas of rather soft wet slippery clay and there's been a lot of rain overnight so uh, this could turn out rather tricky for me anyway Right away into my old friend, wet clay. And I'm just wary of other cars on the road. So not wanting to go too fast and end up cutting corners and things like that. steady and slidey over the clay. Okay. Definitely don't want to cut corners so I was probably a bit too central as it was then but uh, illustration of why you don't take things for granted on uh, small little country roads. Ugh, more sheep. Come on, run little sheep. Okay, I'll go past. Bye bye. Definitely glad this bit is uh, sealed, especially if you're going down this road. If this was uh, this is very steep, you may not be able to tell. So if this was that slippery clay stuff, that would be terrible.
Now, bumper force, that's where I want to go. Well, I'm going to check out Mount Damper Falls. It's just a 20 minutes walk. And uh, there's some other waterfalls it says, but that's a much, much longer tramp, basically. So, this is a very well maintained walkway. Through some very nice mossy and interesting very interesting forest I hear water Rain is set in properly now. Because as well, when it's a unsealed road, you're forced to travel a bit slower. So you get to actually see more. So now, because of tourists, and sort of volume of traffic and things, they seal the road and as a consequence make it less of a tourist attraction. Well, the cliffs in this gorge are very spectacular.
I'm not sure if you can see on the video that that wet clay is indentations from the car tyres going along, it's very soft of course if car tyres are making indentations with that extra area that they cover and the motorbike tyres definitely push in as well Okay, don't need to, but stand up just to get a bit of practice doing that sort of thing. Oh, I don't like the standing position on this bike. I keep wanting to fall backwards. So now on to Tamaranui, get some fuel, maybe grab a muesli bar or something to eat. And then start heading over toward Nokia. Right, so straight ahead goes to Ahura where I started the video. So I wonder if that means that this is the end of the video as soon as that's essentially closing the loop. Because all I'm doing now is making my way back across the country home, coming to the end of another long journey a weekend with a lot of time in the saddle although this time there was an overnight stay to make life easier and that was very nice the uh, two different routes across to the east coast and the forgotten highway and all that sort of stuff very good gravel road practice very good Wet clay? No, still don't like it. But it's definitely a winter ride though, because I'm freezing. But nearly home, and the petrol light is on again, so uh, that shows that it was judged quite well. But home, hot drink, and start looking at the video.